Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have something interesting for you. And I'm sure you can see it behind me. Let me show you the owner. This is Tyler. <laughs> so he's gonna explain a little bit about his Jeep and yeah, we'll get some cool shots and yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, I got you this shirt. Open it up. <laughs> so I got him one of these uh, Nacho Entertainment shirts. Oh, he got dirty from the Jeep. So I got him a shirt. You can check that down below. Link is in the description. Go support your boy. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the video. All right, so here is the Jeep. What year is it? It's a 1978 Cherokee 1970. Chief. Cherokee Chief. Uh, white track. Uh, just got finished with the three and a half inch lift from Pro Comp. Did a uh, front leaf springs. Rear lift blocks, uh, front and back, shock absorbers. Uh, if anybody out there has one, their ES9000 ES is the 9000. Okay. number for the shock absorbers. And how long have you owned the Jeep? Uh, I've had the Jeep about two years. Two years, okay. Got it, had a blown up motor, rebuilt the motor, sent it out to my buddy's shop, did the four barrel swap from the two barrel intake. Mm -hmm. Has all the full smog equipment. <laughs> it's the full spot you put. So he was telling me that you put the extra tire in the rear of the Jeep. So it's kind of like the XJ. So he was explaining to me, this is pretty much an XJ. It's just the first version before, you know, the one that everyone uses second nowadays. Gen. Oh, second. Yeah. What was the first? Uh, See, he knows more 68. than me. 68. 68 was the first gen. Okay. 68 to 72 was a first gen <laughs> Cherokees. And then the second gens were 74 to 81. 74 to 81. The third gens are the 80s to 90. What there is now, right? Yeah. Okay. The ones you see now are 80, started in 84. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, so Those are the first XJs, I think. There's some history for you guys. Don't um, quote me, but I think it's 84. It was the first XJ. See, I didn't know all that. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> I didn't know that. So, he also told me that this is considered a Cherokee Chief. And the Wagoneer is the same thing, just with four doors instead of two. Okay. The subframe's a Cherokee, but it's a longer wheelbase. Longer wheelbase, yeah. And that's because it has a four door, so it's extended. Yeah. Okay. It's a wagon version of this. Wagon version of it, yeah. So. I think hatchback and wagon. This is hatch, hatchback. Oh, hatchback and wagon. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. Hatchback and wagon. So this is before the WJ was even thought of. <laughs> J2000 is the truck. J2000. The J models. And what is that called? That's the uh, name? Yeah. That's the then name. They were okay. uh, now they're Comanches. You Comanches, know them as Comanches, yeah. That's like the XJ model, the Comanches. The first gens of the Comanches are Gladiators in the 60s or their J2000s, late 60s, early 70s. Okay. J2000. Uh, the wider model white track are J3000s, and those are full size solid axle. And this has also full axle? Full axles, front and rear, Dana 44s. Dana 44s, yeah. And then the AMC uh, V8. And then the AMC V8, and you said a Ford, what was it, block? That's a Ford style block, but it's got GM parts. GM parts, so that's interesting. It's a Frankenstein, pretty much. <laughs> uh, and then he does have the lift kit from Procomp. And how much did I lift it? Uh, there was a three and a half inch front and a three inch rear. Three and a half inch front, three inch rear. And these are the 33 1250 mud terrains from Cooper. Cooper. Uh, the Cooper Evolution. Ev Cooper Evolution. Those are the first mud terrains that Evolution model came out with. Evolution, okay. And you said that these fit even before the lift, but they're pretty tight. Yeah. Pretty tight. tight. So you, re tight. you would recommend getting the lift kit. Yeah. And how much was the lift kit? Uh, lift kit I got was five, about 529 bucks. Five, shit. Oh, that's not bad, yeah. The tires 529. were 540, but 40 bucks for tax and yeah. the recycling and then fee installing and everything. Them. Yeah, uh, I got them installed for 60 bucks. Yeah, it's pretty good, and it looks badass too. So I like it. Let's see what you have under the hood. So here is what he has under the hood, and you explain a little bit more because I this is your Jeep, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I did the Edelbrock swap on the four barrel intake. See down here at the Edelbrock Performer intake, and. Uh, it upgraded it quite a bit with the power wise. Yeah, power. The uh, Holly carburetor I got to 600. 
Got that directly from Holly for $329. Okay. Uh, got the Edelbrock air filter. Don't know how much longer that's gonna stay there. That might get swapped. Uh, radiator I got from a company called Cold Case. Cold Case, okay. They make them for your guys' Jeep Grand Cherokee also. Oh, okay. They make uh, like a racing style four row. And this is a full aluminum? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Full aluminum, the side, there's no plastic in it. That's actually one of the faults on the WJs. It's plastic on the side and that ends up cracking. You can actually get one of these for your WJ. So what brand did you say that uh, was? Cold Case. Cold Case, all right. They're a four row instead of the, the traditional two to three. Okay. It's got a four row in it. Did the upgraded racing fan. Those are also from, I believe they're Cold Case. Yeah, and then the distributor. It looks and, like it's uh, new. Yeah, it's got an electronic distributor by the uh, HEI. And that's pretty much it in there, right? And you did, you said you, you rebuilt the engine as well. Yeah. Okay. And you did that yourself. Rebuilt. Damn. Ninety percent of it. Yeah. I took the block to the shop and got it all re uh, resurfaced and polished. Yeah. But, but you put it back together. Put it all back together. Okay. Put it back in. Uh, when your... I first bought it, it started, but it had a pretty solid knock. <laughs> so I got it running, and then I decided I was just going to take it apart and just rebuild it. And let them know how much you got it for the whole Jeep. Uh, I bought the Jeep for five hundred bucks. That is a steal. <laughs> uh, I will send you a picture of when I first bought it. Oh, okay. I have yeah. a few old pictures it when me. I first got it towed home. Yeah, so there it is. And I, one, one of the things that I really do like about these is this badge. You don't really see anything like this anymore on cars. Look how nice that is. That's like Rolls Royce quality right there. Also, <laughs> one right here, a little baby one. Oh, there's, I didn't even notice that one. There's a baby one there. And check out his interior. It's pretty much all there. The door panels, everything. The only thing that he says he's going to change out is the carpet. He wants to get rid of that. So, but I mean, for the most part, look at the interior for 70, what? 77? 78. 78. That looks pretty About good. 40 years old. 40 years old. Yeah. And here it is. Cherokee. Cherokee badge. That way you guys know it's a Jeep. Oh, this thing rolls down? Uh, not at the moment. No? <laughs> it's supposed to? It's not actually. <laughs> it's age it does have an electronic rear window but that's it just yeah, the rear just the rear okay but that's also going to go back to a manual yeah. uh, there's a kit that has the manual input you open this up oh, there's a little tool wow. that you have here and you could turn that tool oh, and it rolls your window oh, okay it's just kind of a yeah. dial and what does the s on here stand for uh, that's the cherokee cheap model the white track s model white track yeah. the s model is the white track versions of it. Okay. They do have an S model that's not a white track, but it's not, it doesn't have these big fenders on it. Oh, the fenders, yeah, okay. it's got flat fenders. Straight down, yeah. And the axle width is a little shorter. Yeah, so I the- I think it's four inches shorter in the rear and six inches shorter in the front. Okay, so yeah, so it's a big a difference. Wider. Yeah, big difference on that. Actually, if you look from right here, you can see the back tires are more in a little bit than the front end. So you're saying the back tires are more in, yeah, you can definitely see it. Why is that? So when you're off-road and you're making a rut, your front tires are digging ruts and your rear still have grip. Oh, a separate rut. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's making the rut. Okay, that out. makes sense, yeah. That way you're not stuck all four tires in the same spot. Makes sense, yeah. All right, guys. So thanks to Tyler for helping me out on this video. Thank you for showing me your Jeep. That thing's no problem, sick. Man. So if you guys like the Jeep, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you guys like about the Jeep or why. Um, and also make sure to leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.